Hello, and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Well, look, winter's here, leaves everywhere, and us experienced 6 Series owners know it's fill your car up with water time of year. Yep, the water drains all block up on the 6 Series, and then the water comes into the boot, and it comes into the cabin, and it soaks up 5 inches of carpet, and you can't get rid of it. So, very important to clear your water drains. Well, I've already done... A YouTube video on clearing the water drains and in it I said well there is a water drain well we think there is under the e-box but I've never found it and in the comments for the video and I read all the comments and answer them where possible um, it said well it's easy it's just take the front wheel off take the wheel liner off and there's your e-box drain well I tell you to start with it's not that easy it doesn't look like a water drain to start with but we'll go through that in a minute. Anyway, if I'm going to take a front wheel off, I'll put one of the rear wheels on the same side up on a ramp. And what this does is just takes all the weight off the front wheel. Um, still weight on the front wheel, obviously, and I need my jack to jack it up. Um, and just to make absolutely sure, I put the other ramp under the side of the car. Now, if the trolley jack fails, and they can do, the car isn't going to land on my head, it's going to land on that ramp and there's not much weight on that side of the car anyway because the rear wheel's up on a ramp. And uh, yeah, it won't kill myself and that's number one rule for working on cars. Try not to kill yourself, it's always best. Anyway, off we go then, so I thought, right, next thing to do, easy. I'll clean up the wheel arch first of all and then find all the bolts and undo them and well, I'll do just the right hand side, the back side and I should be able to see the drain in there. So off we go. Undid all the bolts there. They're all 8mm self-tappers. Undid a lot of them, to be honest. And uh, pulled the wheel liner aside because it's quite malleable. I mean, you can move it quite easy. I thought this is going to be easier. Just stick my hand in there, clear the water drain, and I'm done. Right. Now where's this drain? I can't see it. Can't see a drain in there. That's the bottom of the e box, by the way. It'd be down the bottom. There's a little flap. But no. Uh, strange little thing. But that's not it. But no, I could not find it for love nor money. See hard lines coming out of this rubbery thing. And there's a sort of flap on it. And uh, I stuck my hand up there and it had, underneath it had flap, it had some sort of button. Felt like a reset button. It wasn't a drain. It's got this plasticky button thing on it. So, oh, goodness sake, I'm going to have to take the whole wheel liner off and go for a full search so that took even longer they're all 8 mil again apart from one 13 mil up at uh, up on the wing side and then you can't get the wheel liner off you probably could if you gave it a damn good pull but I thought well giving it a damn good pull is probably not a great idea because I've got to get it back in again so it gave me enough room to get the cameras in there and get lights in there and have a good look around and the only thing that looked like a any resemblance to a water drain was this sort of rubbery thing with the flap and the button inside it so I thought well the only thing to do is I can't find it is I'm gonna to have to fill the aperture up with water so out of the watering can and from the top pour in a bit of water it's not something you really want to do around the electronics of the e-box but I take one for the team anyway I uh, went under the car no water came out so I put a tiny bit more in and sure enough, it came out of this rubber grommet with a flap on it, with a funny button on it. Right, so water is coming out of there, so that is the drain. But it's not obvious, is it? That's for sure. Okay, so I'm quite, quite happy that isn't blocked and I'm not going to get an e-box full of water. But as I said, the e-box itself is sealed. So I don't think water can come up to it from underneath well there you go anyway there's the drain and what a palaver to get to it it's just I mean blimey well, now I know where it is 
I can just remove half the cover rather than removing all of it like I've done here. Well, getting it out of the way anyway. Okay, so there's the drain. That's the e-box drain. Let's zoom out so you can see it in relation to everything else. So that's the wheel well with the cover off. Hard lines going down. They go up and they go into the compartment that the e-box sits in and that's the drain for it and we can see water coming out of it so it's obviously not blocked so there we go but at least it means I give me a chance to chop off that that stupid side bit because that's what that yeah that's what's stopping the leaves actually coming out so yeah out with the side cutters a bit more sort of investigation and um, what this plasticky button thing is, is actually the bottom of the e-box. Now the e-box is fully sealed within that metal aperture. So even if that aperture filled up with water, it's not going in the e-box. It's sealed up, hermetically sealed. It's got a gasket at the top. All the wires, cable forms that come out are in rubber gaskets. And so that's not going to get water in. And I guess what that sort of rubbery plasticky button at the bottom is is some sort of device that will show water because it is translucent. You can see through it, and I guess you'll find out if there's water in it. I don't know, but it's a bit strange all the same. Anyway, water came out of that aperture. There were no leaves, no dust, nothing. And when you look at the area that the e-box sits in, it's very well sealed, so leaves aren't going to get in there in the first place. Unlike the brake booster side on the right-hand side, which gets fill up, filled up with all sorts of gunk and that blocks up the water drain and you have to clear it. But the e-box side doesn't look like that. It looks too clean and I don't think anything's going to get in there. But if you're sort of worried about it, then you have to go through this palaver that I've been through, which is wheel off, wheel liner off and have a good feel around there. And at least now we know exactly where it is. Uh, because it's not obvious. I mean, it took me a while to find it and only pouring water in showed me exactly where the drain was. Anyway, so that's done. We don't have to worry about the e-box. I don't think I'll worry about that anymore, to be honest. As I say, it was dry, no dirt, no leaves, no dust, nothing in there. All seems pretty well sealed up. So I think I'll ignore this from where, from here on in and just clean all the other ones. It makes much more sense. So yeah, it's just a matter of putting the wheel liner back on. All those, all those bolts, 8mm and 13mm, putting the wheel on and all the rest of it. And of course, when you put wheels on again, don't forget to grease the hub uh, so that it don't get stuck on. And that's the reason that the wheel came off so easily, because if you grease the hub, then it's not going to get rusted onto it right and we'll get on with all the other water drains now oh by the way thanks very much for all the views and the comments on my videos and i always read all the comments and i'll reply if i can um, but i'm getting quite a few of them now as the channel grows bigger but again thank you very much uh, for subscribing uh, for the comments and watching the videos we're clearing out the water drains on my e64 today very important as failure to clear those out can mean water getting into the cabin, um, water getting into the boot, and it's very difficult to get water back out of a carpet just because of the thickness of it and the amount of foam in it. Very important to do this, especially after at my house we've got a cherry there and uh, the blossom falls, blocks up all the drains. So right after the blossom has fallen, I always clear out the drains to make sure that they're clear. There we go, four at the front. So just make sure there's no water around the e-box when we get to it. Right, weather strip off. Um, that's a microfilter housing. And to get that off, you remove the wire clip on the left-hand side of it. And there's a quarter turn fixing at the other end. And then that whole assembly comes off. The one on the other side, left hand side as we're facing the engine, has two sensors on the microfilter housing and I don't disconnect them, I just dangle the microfilter housing in the engine bay um, where I can get to it easily enough. There's a Torx fitting there, same on both sides. So whip that out of Torx driver, there we go, that's out. 
And the rest of the fixings are those quarter turn fixings, 13 mil socket, uh, so three of them there. Uh, don't put too much pressure on them, they're only plastic. Um, we'll do the fourth one in a minute. Here's what's meant to be a leaf catcher, but it doesn't catch anything at all. Um, absolutely useless. Uh, here's the fourth. Um, so there's one in between the two uh, microfilts uh, trays. Right, that's the amount of rubbish that's sitting in it, all sorts of leaves and stuff. As I say, it's only a year ago since I've done it. Um, and that's not the worst of it. The worst of it is actually in the wings. And there's the e-box. Um, so let's clear all the rubbish out of that, out of the tray. But it's the, um, the drains in the wings which are the hassle. Um, you can get your hand in there to a certain amount, but you don't want to push the leaves down too much. So try and get as much as you can out and then use the hose again to blast it through. The tube is as wide at the bottom as it is at the top. So whatever's in there will come out the other end as long as you give it a good blasting. It takes a few minutes to get it right. Get a good blast on it and they'll force out and they pop out the bottom of the wheel well. So once you've done that, make sure no water comes back and then check the water's coming out, which it is, pouring out of there, and that's fine. The leaves usually come out, as there, as, uh, out of there as well. Left-hand side, under the brake booster, there's the drain we can get to. So we give that a blast. We'll clear the debris out first and give it a blast to make sure it's clear. Can't do the e-box side. That's the microfilter out, and it's time for a new one. You can hoover them out but uh, they're activated charcoal, so it's best to get a new one. Refitting the trays is pretty simple. They push into the wing drains and then push down. It takes a bit of fiddling. Obviously, one of these three quarter turn fixings here isn't fully retracted, so the first thing that I'll do is uh, turn them anti-clockwise, each one. There we go, that's better. And then it'll push down. That's fine. And do them back up again. All three of those, and the other side, that's back on. Uh, don't forget the wires go rearwards of that tray uh, next to the, the um, leaf catchers on the left-hand side. Uh, you can't tra the, trail the wires over where the seal goes, um, so, but it's all pretty obvious, and when you're reassembling it, you'll see what I mean. Right, leaf catchers back in again. They're fiddly and useless, absolutely useless things. I don't know why we bother with those, to be honest. Um, microfilter, time for a new microfilter. So there we go, I've got a notch on the housing and a cutout in the filter so you can get them the right way round. There we go, fitting it as simple as that. And then that housing, uh, slips into the rear tray and then pushes down. Clip on and quarter turn fixing, do that up and then refit the weather strip in front of it and you're done at the front. It's really that simple. Right, to get the convertible roof into the service position what you do is you open it at the amount that I'm going to show you here so the cover comes up and then you just stop it there and it will stay in that position so you can fiddle about in the convertible compartment to get to the drains. Four drains each side, three of them you can get to. There's one at the back there. Obviously you scrabble out all the rubbish you can to start with. There's one under the rear window cassette and there's one at the fulcrum of the rear roof and that's the slightly harder to get to. There's another one closer to the centre of the rear window cassette but you can't get to it. So again the best plan is to use water from a hose, don't use uh, pressure jet because you'll blow the tubes off. Make sure the water comes out, which it is, that's fine. Going for the one, uh, one uh, of the fulcrum next. And what you may find is as you clear these out um, that you'll force the leaves and bits and bobs that are in the tube back 
backwards and then it will block up the rear one again and that's what happens here but you just have to reiterate the process doing the three you can get to on each side and that will eventually clear them all out so there we go that one's stopped draining so we give that another blast and that's it thanks very much and i'll see you next time